Overtime with Johnny Kane. Johnny, are you ready? Let's go. Most exciting game that you have ever seen in person? 2008 National Championship, KU over Memphis in overtime. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done on live TV? Didn't you eat a hot dog one time? <laughs> I don't think that was the worst thing I did. Yeah, I mean, I shared like a three, three foot hot dog with some guy and his wife when we were in a game in Texas. I would say maybe at that time I got spooked when I was covering the Kansas City Royals a couple years back during their playoff run in 2014. Some fan came up behind me and I was like laboring through a report and I was like, uh, uh, and then he like shouted and I honestly like just lost my place and just started laughing uncontrollably. Still have the footage? Oh, the footage is out there. It's viral. Do you keep a blooper reel? I do not keep a blooper reel. There's yeah. plenty of content to choose from, I can assure you that. What is your dream event to cover? Kentucky Derby. Why is that? I think I've been to 16 of the last 20 Kentucky Derbies, and I typically go either with my dad or my brother. I love horse racing. It is probably my biggest passion. It's the greatest two minutes in sports. Other than yeah. horse racing, what would you say is the most underrated sport? High school volleyball. No, I'm just kidding. I think boxing. I think boxing. I think we need, we need more boxing in our lives. So if you could have a verified check on Twitter for any other reason than being a broadcaster, what would be your reason? All my nieces and nephews, there are six of them now, but five of them are under the age of, let me see, one, two, three. And they call me Spunkle for sports uncle. And so I would want a blue check mark for being the best Spunkle there ever was. Maybe the only one. Did you ever consider the phrase whammy? I did not. If you want your own catchphrase, I always say it should just happen naturally. It's gotta be as good, if not better than whammy. If one comes and happens organically, then, then I'll be happy about that.